Hello and welcome to All Things Apostolic. My name is Casey Sees, and as you can tell, I'm currently sitting in a hotel room. It's in a very nice hotel room in Yucaipa, California. Excited to be here as I'll be preaching the midweek service here for Brother Johnny Wonger here in Yucaipa, California. As I drove down from Turlock this morning and talked to Brother Walker on the phone, he was telling me about a number of amazing things that have been taking place here in Yucaipa. They've uh, gotten into some building, some, I don't know if it's a recovery home or what it is, but there have been quite a few people that they found in this particular setting that have been attending on a regular basis. I think he said like 18 of the folks have been baptized. In addition to that, uh, not too long ago in the summer, Brother Walker had a night of worship at, I believe, a local football field for uh, school. As they were having this event, I believe uh, Brother Booker and uh, another church had joined with them in having this event. And at that event, there were 20-some people that had gotten baptized right there because they decided to have a night of worship. And out of those individuals that had showed up, it was a great gathering, but out of those that had showed up, some that had been baptized. And I was asking him about whether or not those individuals have stayed committed to the church or have come by. And he said a good number have. I forget how many he said, but I know he said there were four or five Bible studies uh, from people that have been baptized, and, and some of the other individuals are attending uh, other apostolic churches in the area, such as Brother Booker's church. Um, and so it's it's awesome to see what is happening here in Yucaipa, California with Pastor Johnny Walker. In addition to coming down and preach, Johnny Walker and Truth Church here in Yucaipa have been very generous. Um, the church, as you know, in Turlock, the Rock Church, Central Valley, had, is in the process of moving to a new location. Again, that move to the new location has been brought about because of the revival that we're seeing there, uh, the lack of sanctuary space that we currently have, and the lack of parking space. And so as we move to a new building, one of the nice things about uh, the building we're currently renting is that it is a Spanish apostolic church, and they have been generous in allowing us to use their instruments. And so as we move to the new location, one of the things that we need to get is a new keyboard, some new drums, sound equipment, and then just overall updates and build out of the new location. And so Pastor Johnny Walker and Truth Church Yucaipa have, uh, are blessing us with a very nice keyboard. For those of you who are musicians and understand uh, instruments and keyboards and those types of things, they have blessed us with a Roland Phantom G8, which my understanding, I'm not a musician and, and I can't sing. Um, I, I enjoy both of them, but I personally can't do either one of those. But my understanding makes some research and talking with friends that this is a very nice keyboard. And we are so thankful that they have blessed us with that. In addition to the keyboard, uh, one individual in the church in Turlock, who recently started coming a couple months ago, has uh, blessed the church with a nice set of drums. We've recently purchased uh, the speakers, microphones, other sound equipment from a board to stage boxes, and, and all the things you need to have a good service have been purchased for the most part. We're still looking at getting some acoustic panels to help with sound in the room as you can see, when we look at this picture here, this is a picture of the sanctuary when we first moved into the building. You can see the old uh, halogen-style lights that are sitting here. These have since been removed, and we painted the walls too, as you can see in this picture. This picture here is a picture of the new lights that we put in. You can see it's a little bit dark on the sides. That's because in that little area right there, We've got to paint that a little bit more, and then we're going to put the lights in there below the soffit. There's also lights that we need to change out above the soffit, so there'll be lights above and below this Saturday, uh, yeah, September, what would it be, September 14th. 
this Saturday, we're going to be building out the platform. You can see here that there's not a platform in the picture. So we're going to be building out the platform, cutting the decking to size and, and not attaching it yet though, because we've still got to run the wires and put in the stage box and all those things uh, once they come in. And so you can see some of the updates we've made here to the sanctuary. As I flash over to this picture here, you can see this is the front of the building with a very nice courtyard. Uh, the other building here, so the front of our building is the building that has all the vine on it. You can see this building to the left. This is an Assemblies of God church and a courtyard in between. We are running the entire, uh, we are running the old sanctuary off the Assemblies of God. And as we noted in a previous podcast, this original sanctuary, the one that we're running, was an apostolic church in Turlock. It was a church that was previously pastored by Brother Brokoff and then pastored by uh, Brother Combs. And since then, it has gone through a couple different hands. We're happy about being back in this building and being in a place where Jesus named baptism and influence of the Holy Ghost took place. The sanctuary is about 25,000 or 2,500, sorry, square feet. And so there's plenty of room for probably 220 to 250 people uh, to gather together. In addition to, well, before I fast forward, as you can see in this courtyard here, uh, behind these vines, as you see in this picture, some very beautiful stone. Uh, we pulled down the vines. The stone is there. Now we just have to come through a power wash and, and repaint the building in the front. And in addition to this uh, larger sanctuary that we'll be moving into, there are also 2,500 square feet of classrooms. Here is the first classroom. This is the classroom that the most work has been done. All we have to do uh, to upgrade this is put in the return vents and those types of things, hook up the AC, and we want to put a panel wall down the middle here. There are two doors on each side of this classroom, and so by putting a little bit of a panel retractable wall down the middle, we'll be able to have multiple classrooms here, and if we need a larger classroom, just then retract that um, wall. Over here, you can see in this picture, there is another classroom that needs a lot more work than the previous one. We need to hang some drywall on the ceiling. Um, there was a roof issue that they fixed. We need to patch the drywall at the bottom, repaint, hang lights. All of these things need to take place. This classroom is a mirror of the other one. It is directly on the other side of the courtyard. You probably saw it in the first picture while well, there was two doors. In between, again, there's two doors for this one classroom, so we're looking to do the same thing with a divider wall down the middle so that there's two classrooms, and if we need to expand it, then we can do that. This next picture here is another classroom that we're going to work on. Rather than having two classrooms here, we're probably going to have a classroom and a small office. Uh, that way, if counseling needs to take place or after the tithe and offering is collected, there's some a secure place to put it. In addition to having a much larger sanctuary and more place for classrooms for Sunday school, another part that we're very happy about, as you can see in this video here to the, to the right, is there is a very large parking lot. And so where we're currently at and where we're looking, uh, where we're having services right now, that it is all on street parking. There are three or four other churches within a one block radius in the middle of a residential area. And so parking is far and few a lot of times on Sunday mornings because of the other sanct our churches that are down there. There is a little bit of a fight, not physically, but we're all trying to jockey for the same parking spots. And so here we have much more parking spot. This is going to be much more conducive uh, to what we're trying to do here. And so we're looking to launch our first service in October, near the end of October. And so if you're in the Turlock area and you're looking for a church, we would love to have you at the Rock Church, Central Valley. The address of the new location is 200 North Avenue, Turlock, California, 95382. Again, this is the new location. We will not be there till the end of October, but stay tuned for more updates regarding this specific location. Thank you for joining me on this week's episode of All Things Apostolic as we talked a little bit about some of the updates that are taking place in the Rock Church Central Valley located in Turlock. 
I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. God bless.